I, uh, yeah, it's crazy though what they, with the way it is with teachers today. How about the teacher just got arrested in Ohio for being a prostitute? Did you see this? Yeah, she's teaching during the day and she was a hooker at night. Boy, you know the economy sucks when a teacher won't have sex with you for free, huh? <laughs> my favorite joke. That wasn't going on when you were teacher, was it? Now the teachers are having sex with their students. What the hell's going on? It's crazy. And you ever see what the teachers look like? Oh my God, they're hot. They're blonde and young and good looking. And you're like, oh my God. And then they always report the news. And the poor 15 year old victim, poor 15 year old victim. Are you kidding me? I had a teacher banging me like that when I was in high school? My GPA would have been way over one. I could have been a, a two point something. <laughs> Could have been somebody. That's why I love this country though, boy, but there's a lot of crazy stuff goes on here, man. There's always something in the news that's making me go nuts. That killer whale killing its trainer. No irony in that, huh? It was a killer whale. <laughs> Get it? I believe he was doing his job. <laughs> Turns out he was a killer, killer whale. And that was the third person the whale had killed. Does everybody know that? It killed three people, this whale. He's a serial killer, killer whale. <laughs> and he's still swimming around SeaWorld with the other whales. Hey, Shamu, how's it going? Good, how was it? Tasted like chicken, I gotta be honest with you. It was a little crunchy around the head, but not bad. Sorry. But this was the craziest thing I'd seen in a while. I uh, was looking this on the internet, it was maybe a month ago. There's a priest in Miami who's on TV. He's kind of like a local celebrity priest in the Miami area. Now this priest recently has gotten caught fondling and making out with a woman on the beach. Yeah, I know, a priest. Well, let me tell you something. The Archdiocese of Miami is outraged. They're like, a full grown woman? Really, Father? We don't have enough letters to write over here? We got this big stack, and now you're making me make start another stack of letters? Could you stick with the rest of the team? You got, yeah, if you're raising kids, please discipline them. If you do, you got, and if you have children, discipline them. That's all I have for, you're not gonna discipline them? Oh yeah, good, yeah, yeah, you yeah, because I got four of them, and I hit them, and I don't care who knows, because I'm tired of the crap. <laughs> yeah, there's no spanking rule, I've had it, because we all got spanked, didn't we? Yeah. We turned out all right, didn't we? Sure we did, look at this, drinking, gambling, whores, Vegas, on Thursday, cause you know, who can wait for a weekend? <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody wants to spank the kids, nobody, everyone's doing time out. Time, anyone do that? Does anyone, how does that work? I don't even, people are like, oh you just put them in a chair, and then you look at them, and it, it's for 10 minutes, I don't got that kind of time, I got stuff to do today. What'd you do? Knock it off, boom, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I have, I have uh, three girls and an asshole. Uh, yeah, I have a 19-year-old boy that's an asshole. And I say it out of love, but he just got a DUI. Yeah, boy, it is a proud moment in a parent's life. And let me put in a disclaimer on this, okay, before I tell you this little story, because I knew what he was doing. He's 19, he's out partying on the weekends. I get it, we all did it, right? You don't wanna be the hypocritical parent, tell your kids, don't do what I did. So my advice to him would always be, don't drink and drive. I would say, don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive. If you've been drinking, call me, I will pick you up, okay? Why? Because I know how to drink and drive. <laughs> You're a rookie, you don't know what you're doing. You gotta learn, you, you cover an eye, you, you lose those little bumps in the road. Bit, 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 you pull over, bit, 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 you pull over, you know? Get your head out the window, get some fresh air, learn! You don't just jump into this stuff. Kids don't listen. If you've ever had a teenager in your house, they never listen, right? They're always, it's, ugh. So this whole thing started with a phone call. Now, teenagers never call you for good stuff either. So if you have a teenager in your house and your phone rings and it's them, it ain't good. So I'm home and I'm like, hello. And I hear the voice, hey man. Uh, shit. What's up? I fucked up. Well, I don't know what's under the umbrella this time. I go, why, what did you do? He goes, I got a DUI. Son of a bitch, hung up the phone. Oh, I was pissed off. Let me tell you, I was frustrated and aggravated, so. I went and had a drink. 
<laughs> I believe it was a tall glass of Crown on the Rocks. So with cocktail in hand, I figure I gotta calm down. And I turn on my TV to, to relax, which was a mistake, because the local news came on. First story in the local news that night was about a teenager who'd been arrested for a DUI. Why? Hmm? Because he hit a house with his car. Oh. Yeah. Hit a house with his car. He didn't get pulled over. He pulled himself over. <laughs> now he calls me back. He's like, hey, man, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm watching the news. You hit a house with your car? He's like, it's on the news? <laughs> really? Hey, can you tape it for me? <laughs> You're killing me. I, I, tape it for you? Wait, who are you? Who are you, Billy Joel? I'm not, I'm not taping it for you, idiot. And now I need to ask some questions. I go, other than the obvious, how did you hit a house with your car? And you know what my genius tells me? And I quote him now, he tells me, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh really? It's not that, you've hit a house with your car drunk, it's on the news, you're in jail, and you're telling me it's not that bad? <laughs> you're an asshole. Hence <laughs> his nickname. <laughs> He's like, hey man, uh, I am really in jail, are you coming to get me? <laughs> no. No, I'm leaving you in jail. <laughs> like, oh man, are you kidding? You know what they do to guys like me in jail? I went, yeah, and it's not that bad. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. I did, I left him there. Uh -huh. All right, here's a song now about a social problem this country's having, and I don't know when it got to this point, but. Uh, you can't get away from it, it's undeniable, but it's in epidemic proportions. Every other damn commercial on my high def TV has got men complaining that they ain't what they used to be. Erectile dysfunctional men. Maybe they're just getting old, and even in the poke, you need to know when to fold. See you outside. Good night.